with an all-new wide camera, with a new sensor, with 100% focus pixels for faster autofocus, three times faster in low light. And we have a new ultra-wide camera with 120 degree field of view. This will let you capture way more in your photos and videos. Because now you can take a wide camera shot like this, but switch to the ultra-wide to reveal <laughs> but the details still are there in the sky, the rocks, and the sand. This is doing an optical zoom out 2x, so you can capture way more without moving. So now, when you're taking a wide camera shot, you'll see our new immersive camera interface that lets you see outside the frame, hinting at a bigger shot. Then you can simply hack to switch to the ultra-wide, revealing more of your scene. This is great for these epic landscape shots where you can see edge to edge all this detail. And it's also great for tight spaces where you can't physically back up, but the ultra wide lets you do that, revealing more of your story. You can use an angle like this to take a heroic and dynamic shot because the ultra wide can elongate your subject to keep all these details sharp from her red dress all the way to her face. Now these are some examples of great ultra wide photos. We've also updated our image pipeline, which processes over a trillion operations per photo. And it's got our image signal processor, and it has our neural engine for machine learning. And now we've added semantic rendering. This allows us to more intelligently detect subjects and relight them with detail, so they look even better. Now we use this across your photos, including in our next-gen smart HDR. You can see the gorgeous smile and her warm face, accentuated by the back of the sun. Now we're using multi-scale tone mapping, so we can treat highlights differently in different parts of the image, depending on what's best for them. Now it works here in portrait mode, and people love taking portraits on iPhone 11. And iPhone 11 has this wide angle camera, so you can take these beautiful wide shots of portraits for people. But now with two cameras, we have stereoscopic depth, so now you can also take portraits of your favorite pets. <laughs> You can also use creative depth of field for shots like this. Now, we have a new portrait lighting effect, and that's high key mono. You can take a stunning studio quality portrait like this from a pretty ordinary background. All right, let's talk about night mode. This is for the very low light environments, like outdoors at night or inside a dimly lit restaurant. And night mode comes on automatically when it's dark enough to brighten photos and reduce noise. Here's an image with night mode turned off. Here it is with night mode turned on. We determine the image fusion time and use adaptive bracketing based on what we see in preview. So shorter frames if you have subject motion or longer frames if you have deep shadows to recover them then we intelligently fuse images together, reducing motion and blur. All right, we know you love taking videos, and you're capturing more than ever on iPhone, so I'm really excited to show you the first video shot on iPhone 11 entirely on our wide and ultra-wide cameras. One, two, three.